Hi, my name is Cynthia Wozo. I'm a fourth year resident um, in physical medicine and rehabilitation at um, the University of Texas Health Science Center in San Antonio. All right, so you are a, a um, PMR doctor, uh, physiatrist. Can you explain what that is and kind of what, what do you do? Yeah, physiatry or PMNR, um, as we're called. Physical medicine and rehab is a really unique, um, I think, specialty within medicine itself. Not many people know about it, but it's been um, huge in my life personally. Um, we are the specialty that kind of intersects between orthopedics and neurology, neurosurgery, and medicine. We know all of those aspects, but we take the diagnoses and the and the and all the surgeries that they do for you and we improve your function in spite of those diagnoses and those surgeries so we're the ones that make you get up out of bed early in the morning gotcha and why did you choose to go into um, PMR kind of medicine what, what made you choose that yeah so um, for a couple different reasons um, one if most people who know me um, would say the first one would be that I actually live and breathe rehab all the time. Um, I have cerebral palsy, so I grew up in rehab without actually knowing it. Um, so I, it's something that I'm very used to. I talk about in my head all the time when I'm going up and downstairs and I'm doing therapy for the day. So that's number one. Also, I really like having the ability to um, change people's outlooks um, despite their diagnoses and rehab really allows you to do that. Um, you get these awful diagnoses and these awful traumas and you're like what do I do now? I had all these goals and these dreams and how do I achieve them now? And I get to help you figure that out. I get to, to, to make life what you want it to be. So it's really fun. Uh, describe a typical day for you. Like, it probably depends on what rotation you're on, but uh, you get here at maybe 6 a.m. and then you leave by what time? And what does your day usually consist of? So you're right. Um, depending on what rotation I'm on, it may change. Um, most people know rehabilitation for their inpatient um, units. So on the inpatient side, we start um, around 6 o'clock and we um, round on our patients with our attending. Um, then we will... Um, start you know preparing for the day in whatever orders that we need to put in for our patients and then we get to hopefully um, have some family meetings get to talk about what we're doing with our patients and their families we get to see some therapies and um, see the progress that our patients are making um, and then we kind of prepare you know for the incoming patients that there's a high turnaround in rehab because the longest stay really um, is around um, three weeks and covered by insurance, so there's a high turnover. Um, so we prepare for those patients, and we usually leave probably um, around six, probably on the inpatient side. So a 12 hour day, it's, it's not the shortest of all. Um, and then on the outpatient side, um, clinics wise, if you were to do that, like on EMG service where I am now, um, we start, I get there about seven o'clock um, if something's not up before, and then, um, we do our, in, our outpatient clinics uh, throughout the day and then any inpatient consults that come in after, in the afternoon. Um, so those are shorter days. You may get out by three, but if some complicated um, study comes up, it may be later. So okay. it just depends. Okay, awesome. So to become a PMR doctor, it requires four years of college, four years of medical school, and then four years of residency. Uh, do you, and what fellowships or can people specialize after they're done with their residency? Right, so absolutely. Um, there are several different options for fellowship training after um, residency. And you can go and practice right out of residency. A lot of people do that. Um, but if you want to sub-specialize some more, um, there are um, sports medicine options through rehabilitation as well um, as ortho and family medicine have sports men. So that's one option. Pain medicine is also a very popular option through rehab medicine. Um, you can also do sports and spine, um, which is a little bit different than the traditional sports medicine. You can do spinal cord um, fellowship. You can also do a neuromuscular medicine fellowship, which um, is 
very interesting. You get more EMG training and more of the specifics on neuromuscular medicine. And then also there's a pediatric rehab fellowship. That one um, is two years for pediatrics. The rest of them are a, an extra year. Okay. And how much can one expect to make once you're done with uh, residency, kind of on average, after you're done just um, your residency? I, from what I've been seeing lately, um, probably I would expect around 200000 um, depending on if you're if you come into an inpatient unit and you happen to be the director of that unit um, or things you may get more but just baseline I would probably think around 200,000 okay and what advice would you give to people who say that they maybe have some type of a condition or I know you mentioned living with CP mm -hmm. uh, what kind of advice would you give to people who uh, are, uh, think they may want to go into medicine but just aren't sure if they can make it with their kind of um, Kind of condition. Yeah, I um, I am a champion of that. Um, it's one of my favorite aspects of what I do. Um, find someone who believes in you and rally with them. Um, I've had a lot of people um, tell me what they think I can do. Um, a lot of people tell me I need to find different avenues. Um, and I just knew that this is what I was created to do. And so I just kept pushing until I found a, a place that believed in me. Um, my program director, um, when I met with him the first time, was like, I know everything in your folder and I'm okay with it. And after that, it was never a conversation again. And I knew that that was the place I needed to be when someone truly didn't see me for my CP first. They saw the hard work I had put in um, throughout my years of training thus far um, and what I was willing to do um, past then. Um, because truly, I think, um, especially in the world of rehab, to have a disability of sorts um, actually gives you an advantage. Um, you not only understand from the from the physician side what these patients are going through, but you understand on a very personal level what you're asking them to do. And so I get to hang out with them in therapy and go, okay, you're gonna do stairs today and so am I. Okay, do you wanna throw like therapy balls at me until I fall down, then okay, if that's what's gonna make you do therapy, then you can. Um, so I, to, to have a patient look at you in that way and truly know that what you're asking them is possible because you did it is amazing. Okay, any other last minute advice you have for people who are interested in medicine or becoming a doctor or even in a uh, rehab doctor? What kind of advice would you give, give them? Just make sure you love it. It's not an easy road. Um, it takes a long time, but um, it it's rewarding every day if you just take a second to, to look at what you get to do, what the, the privilege of, of what you get to do. Um, it's like no other. Um, people trust you just because of the, of the letters in front of or behind your name like no other place. Um, so just make sure that you, you respect that role that you're, you're being blessed with and know that it's going to be very hard. Not, none of these specialties are easy. Um, they all take a lot of work. Awesome. Thank you so much.